What's going on guys? Oh my Godzilla back here with another Godzilla figure review. And by another Godzilla figure review, I mean we're taking a look at 10 different figures in one video guys. This is going to be every single Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla ham -coon figure to date. Guys, let's jump right in. Alrighty guys, so we are back here with every single Bandai Movie Monster series, God's a Ham Coon figure, and basically what these figures are, it's a mashup between Godzilla and Hamtaro, which, to be honest, I know almost nothing about, it's a Japanese hamster show or comic, I don't even know what it is, but they're adorable, and I love them, so I had to pick them up. Guys, let's take a look real quick at the kind of different versions we've got. So the first three they did was a standard green, red, and blue figure this first line here is what we got very first guys and then they went ahead and gave us this one back here in the middle which is a mashup between a the gods of ham coon and a japanese baseball team that i think something to do with tigers but maybe just called the tigers i'm not sure but uh, that you can see this the tiger pattern on top we'll take a better look at that in a moment and then guys they went ahead and gave us a couple of different versions here the silver and gold i think were the next ones that came out and then the black one in the back and then they gave us kind of these chromey, kind of more shiny versions of the original trio. Guys, let's take a quick peek at the at everything kind of in depth. So here we are with the first three that we got, the green, red, and blue. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tag here. So obviously here we have the Hamtaro deal, and they gave the tag, the GMK poster kind of. Back of the tag, it just kind of has some, I'm sure, I think it says blue version, God's a Ham Coon, something along those lines. But here's kind of our figure, guys. So you have the you have the standard Godzilla. All the bodies exactly the same. All the cat, all the ha all the Hamtaros are exactly the same as well. And um, I think really they're just going to be pretty standard, pretty basic. Not too crazy on the details. Just some fun little cute spines, little toe claws, hand claws, some teeth, big old Godzilla eyes here. And then of course you have the little Hamtaro on in there cute little whiskers and you can actually i don't like doing this because it feels like it's potentially damaging the figure but i'll do it once to show you guys you can kind of peel the hood back get a better look at kind of those ears and whatnot so they do have paint and detail on the ears of the hamtaro now that i think of it hamtaro could be a cat i don't even know what the heck it is guys don't judge me for this but here's our blue and taking a look at the red not too much change obviously like i said just the figure is red instead of blue so definitely cool we got so many of these. They're, when, if you can snag them when they drop, they're fairly cheap. They're like 12 bucks. Uh, of course, you got to ship them over from Japan. I use Hobby Link Japan to get a hold of uh, the newer ones. But this, tri this trio right here, guys, I, went, I got every other one, and then I went to track down the original trio. These three are very tough to find. It took me some, it took me some digging, um, but I was able to track them down with the help of uh, one of my buddies. So definitely glad to have tracked down the original trilogy of uh, figures all of them have the same tag except for the color is going to be different on the backs of those tags guys we're going to take a quick peek at the kind of chromey different looking versions of the same three colors guys i figured it'd be best to show you kind of the green side by side so here's kind of the differences we're seeing in the in the metallic i think is what they call them uh version so the, the new one here on the is here on the left we do have the same green tag kind of a little different it's got a little bit of a stripe going through the middle poster is the same on there so there's the green God's a Ham Coon. We look next at the red. I think the red is probably the one that has the least different. Um, I don't totally hate the fact that they're so similar, but it also would have been nice to get something that's a little bit more dr drastically different to justify buying a whole new figure. Because as you can see, these things are very, very similar in, uh, in style and color and whatnot. So definitely not the most uh, amazing ch difference here, but I don't hate it. And guys, last but not least are the three colored versions here that we have. The blue, decent little difference there. You can definitely see the metallic popping through. Definitely wanted to show you all these side by side, kind of seeing how different the standard versus the metallic is. The metallic is going to be much easier to come by right now because it is a new release. So if you have interest in any of these guys, I'd buy the ones you can buy now now if you want them because like i said guys these 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 the original trilogy and that tiger one my goodness they are tough to find speaking of the tiger here he is this one's one of my favorite ones really love the tiger pattern this is the only one where we actually get two different colors uh, aside from the eyes and claws and whatnot this is the only one where the body gets two different colors and guys taking a look at the tag definitely really cool godzilla versus something i don't know what this is and it's cool because some of the some of the baseball players from the team and the mascot 
but the players from the team are actually on the card. So it's definitely cool for these players who are on the card to say they are literally part of movie monster history. And there is this guy. I wish I could read Japanese so I could have any clue what that said in here. Sons of the Gods of Hamcoon, baseball version. I'm not even sure. I think they call this guy basically Tiger version. So pretty awesome. And guys, one other thing I will say is the cards are really, really cool. I definitely like... I'm, I just am a huge fan of these cards that they have for the Gods of Hamcoons. I love how this one's got the baseball team. You got Godzilla back there. Yeah, they actually have Godzilla 2002, it looks like, hanging out in the back, which is cool because it's my favorite Godzilla. Why'd they pick that? I wish I knew. You have a tiger, you know, a tiger background in there. So definitely this tiger one is awesome. I'm definitely glad I was able to track it down earlier in the month. Just doing these two together because they were released together. This is the, the metallic silver and the metallic gold. These ones look really good as well. I love how they're, they contrast each other. And then the Hamtaro looks pretty good in the gold and silvers in there. Definitely very cool. And this one spices it up a little bit, guys. Gives us a different poster Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. So definitely cool how we got that changed up. Why'd they pick that poster to go with? Again, I wish I knew. Maybe there's some deep reason, but I have no clue, honestly. So here's the gold and silver versions. The metallic gold and metallic silver. It'd be cool to get a, a standard gold and silver, but uh, just the metallics for now. And guys, the cool thing about these Hamtaro figures is we could never see the end of them, quite honestly, because they're so easy to repaint and redo. We Bandai could just keep giving us different colors, and as long as they don't do it too excessively, I'd be fine with a, you know an extra one or two every year because they are fairly cheap. Um, and I just normally have Hobby Link Japan hold them until I have other things to ship, so it doesn't really cost me anything extra to ship them. So it's literally like twelve or thirteen extra dollars to get a new one of these. Definitely cool. Would not mind another couple of them throughout the uh, the next couple of years. Definitely would be awesome. And last but certainly not least, because it's one of my favorite ones, is the metallic black. This is one of the newest ones, I think, and it is definitely a cool one. Again, I, black is one of my favorite colors. I really like it. I think it looks really cool on Godzilla. It looks really cool having the Hamtaro be all cute and little and just having a black, dark figure out here. Um, they went back to the GMK poster. It's definitely an interesting choice there. But I w it would be really nice to get, like, a jet black. Like, imagine kind of, like, more, like, along the lines of the gloves or something. Just a super jet black Godzilla really would look cool, I think. But guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think, the, what do you, what color would you like to add to the Godzilla, uh, the Gods of Hamcoon line? Uh, I think a jet black would look awesome, or just some crazy colors, like a neon pink, like just do a hot pink, that would look really fun and cool, be a really awesome eye grabber on the shelf, just having such a crazy color on there. Guys, let's go ahead and size this figure up to a couple others. So guys, starting with the most compatible kind of size-wise things, I just grabbed a Super 7 um, reaction size figure, just to show you how he's going to stand up against other stuff. So obviously he's much thicker and whatnot, but the uh, the Super 7's a little taller, actually. But just I just wanted to show you, just in terms of pure knowing how tall he is compared to other stuff, there's the first one I wanted to show you guys a comparison to. Next, guys, this is the Mezco Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Hidora set. So this guy's going to be even just a little bit taller, standing over the uh, God the Hamcoon here. But um, just wanted to show you guys a couple scalings to get a, size, uh, a feeling for how big this guy actually is. Guys, next up is the 2021 release of the Godzilla 1991 figure. So this is kind of a standard 6-inch movie monster series. So they're definitely going to be, uh, you know, hidden well behind these guys if you're trying to mix them in on the shelf. I have enough of these guys, and I have that cool Amazon display where I actually just have, they have their own little area on the shelf. They look great. I love it. So there's a movie monster series 6-inch figure. And guys, last but not least, here is the, uh, this is the Bandai GMK Godzilla they did with the Hamtaro. You see him in tucked away in the mouth there. Super fun figure. I really am glad I was able to pick this up. Review on this guy coming shortly. I just got this guy in the mail the other day. Very exciting stuff. So obviously he's going to tower well over the standard Gods of Hamcoon figures. But it is funny that the head of, God, of, of the Hamtaro is much bigger here than it is up here. But um, yeah, obviously this figure is going to tower well over this guy. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Every single Bandai Movie Monster Series Godza Hamcoon figure to date, all 10 of them. The metallic black, metallic silver, metallic gold, metallic green, metallic red, metallic blue, the tiger, and the standard green, red, and blue. Guys, let me know out of the 10, what is your favorite? For me, it's it's uh, it's a close call probably between the black and the tiger. really like both of those, but I'd love to know what your favorite one of these is. And I'd also love to know in the comments below, guys, which color would you like to see them do next i'm personally all in for a hot pink i think that'd be a really fun idea or some sort of burning godzilla it'd be really cool to get like a burning godzilla from uh, godzilla vs destroya 
done up on the Godzilla outer skin. Or maybe give him give, give the Hamtaro a different facial expression. That would be very cool as well if different colors had different facial expressions moving forward. I think that would be very unique and fun too. But guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, guys. Next video we're doing is that GMK Hamtaro video. Guys, so this guy will be coming up next. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.